So when you see that the Bible says that the virgins had lamps, it's the spirit of, of man that is carrying the Holy Ghost. That means they are born again. And the lamp is the spirit. And the vessel is the soul. The believer that is in the kingdom of God has the life of God in his spirit. But when he comes in confrontation with the perspective of heaven on the account of of that life of God that brings consciousness of heaven. He is not willing to submit his will in order for him to do the will of heaven. So, he doesn't have a vessel. The Spirit of God cannot influence his soul. can only influence where? His spirit. But the, 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 the wise... The wise virgin, he has oil not just in his spirit, he has oil also in his soul. Because when he sees the perspective of heaven, he is willing to submit his will so that heaven can have his way. Oh, you are not following me. You don't believe me. Okay. Now, let me show you something quickly. Then we'll come back there. According to the scripture, the believer that has oil in his spirit alone is foolish. The believer that doesn't have oil affecting his soul, that Holy Ghost in his spirit is not authoritative enough to affect his soul. That believer is foolish according to scripture and according to kingdom reality. Meanwhile, what Jesus came to teach for 40 days is what? Kingdom. Now, based on this classification, are you really wise? Can you say you are wise? That everything that your life today is a literal expression of that which the Spirit of God from heaven wants to do in your vessel. Because if that is not the case, it means that foolishness has caught up with you. You see, we are in a generation where, like in Lagos now, they wake up 5 o'clock to go to work. Come back 11 in the night. So he, he, he thinks that his job is his life. Because when you threaten a man in Lagos, that I will sack you. Eh? Sack. He will line up. But there's a difference between your job and your work. Like I said to the people that attended the pre-conference, your, your job pays you salary. Your work pays you reward. If you are in the banking industry and you spend most of your time in the banking industry, you must ask God what, why He put you into that industry. So that in addition to your job, you are doing your work. If not, after 35 years of laboring, and you come out of that system, you will discover that you only have a lamp. You don't have a vessel. How did you become born again? You accepted Jesus. And then your spirit became regenerated. Let me show you a clue before I take you further. According to the Bible, Matthew, we'll come back to Matthew 25 again. Matthew chapter 7. When you begin to fellowship with the Spirit of Christ deeper and deeper, you begin to understand what the Spirit of Christ wants you to do with your life. Huh? Sister Tunya, if somebody comes and tells you, who will search you? We'll take your, your... All they can take is your job. But you have labored with Jesus enough to know what Jesus wants from you, and you can continue that one. Some people's relevance ends when they lose their job because they, are, they think their job is their life. It is your work that is your life. But in Lagos, they think their job is their life. So when I went to Lagos, I told them that there's a difference between your job and your work. Then the whole place became emotional. We, we have jobs too that we are working on. Hmm? But in addition to the job 
and our job is not suffering. We also we are doing the work. And a day will ultimately come. The Lord will say, not because they are saying drop the job. You yourself will say, take your job. Eh? So that I can attend fully to the work. That's a kingdom man. A mundane man will think his job is working for God. He will not diligently find out why God took him to ministry of finance. It's not to do finance. Your certificate qualifies you to enter the platform. But you are there as a kingdom man and an evangelist in the market is an evangelist. There is a work for him. For which he needs to do. So if you enter a platform, there is a work from heaven's perspective. You need to find it. That's why you are there. That's the reason why you are where you are. I remember when I finished youth service, I spent some time to pray and then God spoke to me and said, go back to Kano. It's your service you finished, but not my work. I said, eh, there's a difference. That's where I discovered that hmm, there is a difference between your job and your work. So I went back to Kano. I said, okay, what is this work? He said, those young boys you have been discipling under the mango, that is why you, are, you should be there. Meanwhile, this mango tree we are talking about doesn't have leaf. We are just under it as psychologically that there is some shade. It was one day when I analyzed the level of, of, of coverage, I found out it was psychological. So I went back to Kano, took a teaching job, because that's the one my family will understand. But okay, mm, he's teaching for now. They can understand that. What are you doing in Kano? I'm teaching. But you know what? I'm, my real work is under what a mango tree without leaf. Hmm. Only kingdom men know the true story of life. If you are still telling the liturgy of breakthrough, you, are, you have only a lamp. You don't have a vessel. At the end of the day, it will be clear that you were foolish. And we, we are talking about the doctrine of virgins here. There's no unbeliever among them. Among the, the blessed, eh? there are foolish ones. That's what I'm saying. And so the Bible reveals a solid situation of two categories of virgins. One of them called foolish and the other one called wise. And the reason for the foolishness or the wisdom as the case may be is in whether or not they had a vessel in addition to what was in the lamp. Meanwhile, their situation was not obvious. They were all flocking together. You will not even know the difference. They were all attending Bible study and you will not know the difference. They were all rigma rolling together and it was not obvious. Until a time that they did not influence was chosen as the time for check. And when the alarm went out at that time, the situation of the foolish ones was revealed before the master. And the situation of the wise ones was also revealed at a critical moment. Because the Bible says, while the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. At that sleep, there is death. They died. It was at the last trump when the dead in Christ rose that 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 cry went out. So in 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 the land of the dead they arose, both foolish and wise. And then the bridegroom that is supposed to receive them now say, eh, you you uh, foolish ones. Um, in fact, the foolish ones recognized their condition instantly. <laughs> Meanwhile, their condition was not obvious before this time. <laughs> and then when they all arose then they now say oh in the afterlife they now discover that no 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 we don't have the, no okay can you give us some then the, the wise one says they, they say not so they didn't say no they said not so that's not how it's done here they were still using uh, 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 another mentality in it they say not so not so you, you, it's not done here but there is a recommendation Go to them that say. That means in the afterlife, some of you will pay a price to buy. 
Oh, you think it has finished? You, you didn't serve Jesus with your life here, and then you, you say, I don't escape. Oh, you forget that the reign of God is from eternity past to eternity future. He will still meet you in the future. And you're... Mm, oh. Some of you have already wasted one third of your life. And you wasted it, the, the definition of your life in that one third. Foolish. We saw that your own option before we decided to desert it. To come to a place where we give perspective to heaven. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in... So my Father in heaven has a will. He wants to do something. And he's looking for vessels that will yield their own will. It's hard when the Spirit makes a demand. It's very hard. But according to scriptures, those are the people that are wise. And they are being wise, will not be obvious, in this age. is in the age to come. There are some people that are wise in this age. When we enter there, you will discover, not so, not so. They will beg you for something. Not so. As you see, of all the truths in scripture, Jesus decided to come and teach about the kingdom of God. Because you will be a vagabond if he doesn't teach it. You will be a natural fool if he doesn't bring perspective about those issues. Before we come to the point where we measure your ministry, what you are doing, what you have spent your life doing, the thing you pioneered, before we look into that, we need to establish the basics first. Are you still with me? 